Respiratory therapists work in clinical and hospital settings, home care environments, intensive care units, emergency rooms, diagnostic laboratories, and skilled patient care centers. The respiratory care program at College of DuPage is an intensive, full-time, two-year program leading to an associate in applied science degree. Students learn through a combination of classroom instruction and hands-on clinical practice three days a week at a local hospital affiliate. The job outlook for certified and registered therapists is excellent. Continuing our journey down the road to success, Images explores the career opportunities available for students studying respiratory care. Respiratory care to me means caring. I would have to use the word vital to describe the career of respiratory care. I probably use comfort as a word to describe the respiratory care program at COD. So this is what they call a nebulizer, and this is actually how we deliver medication to our patients. Uh, we're focused on the lungs, so we want to make sure we have a direct route to the lungs, and the only way you can really deliver this is through a mist. You can't really pour fluid into someone's lungs because they're going to cough it up. So we want a source of gas through it, so we're going to use oxygen now. Connect it to the bottom. And this is actually saline right now, but this is we actually the medication. If we had put some in there coming out, that's how it would look. Okay. Mouth would go on this end, some dead space to kind of keep the medication so the patient would breathe. And Can I try it? Yeah, absolutely. It's salty. So you tell your patient, nice, easy breath, you don't have to hyperventilate, just give the medicine some time to work, it takes about 15 minutes. But the nice thing about the meds that we give, you usually get uh, immediate results. So because they're bronchodilators, that means that it goes into your lungs and opens things up. As soon as that medicine hits, it kind of starts to dilate things. So it's a nice thing about our field that we see some benefit right away from what we give. When I was in high school, I wanted to go into healthcare. I didn't know that but my first choice was pharmacy. And then I got a job in pharmacy. There, there wasn't a lot of uh, patient interaction. So I went and talked to Denise, the respiratory care coordinator, and she told me all about the hands-on, the patient interaction. It was a lot more emotional, and I was like, wow, okay, I think I want to do this. Okay, Fong, so this is pulmonary rehab. Okay. Uh, patients come here after being diagnosed with some type of lung disease, uh, restrictive, obstructive. And the idea here is not to cure the patient, but to try to improve their life, so quality of life. So we'll have them do a bunch of exercises. We'll talk about breathing. Uh, we have different type of breathing. Uh, it's called purse slip breathing, which helps to improve oxygen levels inside the lung. Uh, it's where they pierce their lips. Yeah, exactly. You want to try to see, yeah, almost like you're squeezing down like a straw. And they get this tight little seal, and then you actually kind of exhale through that. Because you're exhaling a little less CO2? Well, actually, well, it will improve your CO2. The reason being is because the alveoli inside your lungs, those little sacs that we talked about, okay. they help to stay open and have better gas exchange. So okay. patients with disease processes start to uh, have problems with that. They start to have from smoking or natural causes, uh, genetics will cause that to uh, start to not work as uh, not normal. Enough. So we'll put patients on treadmills and have them do some different exercises. Uh, importantly, we're going to monitor their oxygen. Most of the patients here require supplemental oxygen. They can't just breathe through air anymore. So they actually have to have supplement. Correct. So okay. we'll have nasal cannulas to actually help keep their oxygen at a normal rate. So we'll actually have them hooked up to a monitor, EKG monitor, to actually see how their heart's working. The program is um, kind of different than what, how other programs run. We're a leg program, leg semester program. So the very first semester is all didactic and lab on campus. Students learn the introduction to respiratory care, the modalities, 
um, patient assessment, and then we don't send them to clinical until the following semester because we make sure that they know the theory, how to do it, and then we also have an outside preceptor that comes in to check them off in the lab. So what they can expect is a program that builds on itself every semester, so by the time they're finishing the program, they're in intensive care units, neonatal intensive care units, but they've learned everything before they've gotten to that intensive care unit. Nice even stream out. And you can kind of actually go up and down with it. And you might be able to feel different lung zones being affected by doing that. Uh-huh. Yeah. <coughs> there you go, desired effect. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what you want to do with cough assist. You're going to help break that stuff up, help them bring it up. I advise students who want to pursue a career in respiratory care to first uh, academically work on math and sciences, which are so essential to the career and profession. Interpersonal communications is essential because you talk from all ranks, you know, all the way up from physicians all the way down to uh, housekeeping. I mean, you talk to patients, uh, their, bed, their family members require you to update them, explain what's going on because it's a stressful moment and your communication skills are essential to calming their fears and answering their questions. So how are you working? How are you doing? Okay. Breathing okay? Okay. Can I check your oxygen, see how you're doing? Yeah, All right. It's difficult. It's just a while. <laughs> I'll warn you. <laughs> <laughs> Different factors kind of influence this. Ambient light, light from on the outside, nail polish, movement. So as you can see, when you're moving, doing exercise, it's going to bounce around. So sometimes it has a hard time reading it, which is what Lowe's does. How long have you been doing pulmonary rehab? Oh, I think it's about three years now. Three years, okay. I stayed on after coming from the original. Okay. I figured that was the best way I get the exercise. Sure, absolutely. As you notice, is your breathing improved since then? Well, it stayed the same. I have Yeah, you know, I understand. Enough time. said. The same as last year, so that yeah, that's count a good thing. is a blessing. Mm -hmm. And now we got a nice reading. we got 95 and 86. Thank you very much, Lois. You're welcome. Thanks for Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Tried to warm you up there. <laughs> when it came to the second semester, you were going to clinicals, and I was worried because I was really, really scared that if I was out in the field, if there was a trauma, a code blue in the hospital, I don't know if I knew what I was going to do. So I guess that's why they have clinicals, so that you're, you're exposed to this a little more. I think with me, when I went into clinicals, my first instructor always said, you always have to focus. And you know, you're going to have, when you're in trauma, when there's a code blue, there's going to be people running all over the place. You're going to hear stuff. You're going to see stuff. He said, but your job is to focus on what your job is. And that's exactly what I did. And I took that. And I, I, I did pretty well. I mean, I was surprised. For more information about the respiratory care program at College of DuPage, please call 630-942-2518 or visit their pages on the web at www.cod.edu.